So I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on, on the Middle East. Uh, and these are general crime rates in the Middle East. Uh, you can see that if we focus only on crime, uh, Israel still in the Middle East is in a good place. It's not uh, uh, near the uh, most, uh, uh, I'll call them criminal. Uh, uh, <coughs> and I, I will continue. Um, if I take a violent crime, I, I, I took violent crime out of all, all the countries, and I took three kinds of uh, violent crime, sexual offenses, Israel is in the first place. Assault offenses, Israel is in the first place. But then, Limor only can you can uh, jump and say, we criminologists, we know that um, crime rates are, report, uh, are crimes that are reported to the police. And if uh, people do not report to the police, then it's what we call the dark figures of crime. We don't know, it's like it doesn't exist. Murder offenses are most re mo the most reliable um, reported crime because there is a bug. Sometimes it showed up. And uh, here we can see that Israel is not in the uh, first place. Uh, but still, we, we are worried and we want to know how, how, before we estimate our neighbors, we want to know to estimate ourselves also. So what we did uh, in, in our uh, research center was uh, to try to explain uh, the, the violence and try to explain the, the readiness for peace, but we didn't want to go to um, not a, a political aspects, of uh, conflict, Jewish armed conflicts, and, and so on. Uh, we want to go to social resilience, and we um, uh, used the uh, um, international uh, uh, data. Uh, most of them was uh, from the uh, World Bank. And we estimated <coughs> um, the, char the characteristics of the Middle East countries in terms of strength, in terms of economic strength, not related to any conflicts or uh, uh, whatsoever, not terror, economic strengths. We talked about social uh, in terms of demographic strengths, uh, like uh, uh, birth rates and uh, uh, the percentage of young population. We, uh, we created a scale of gender uh, equality uh, um, measure to measure the strength of the a country, each country in the Middle East. We uh, also examined religion and ethnicity diversity in each country and openness to globalization. Each of these uh, characteristics is uh, built uh, from uh, uh, at least 10 or 15 uh, um, uh, sub uh, items that uh, was uh, uh, merged together to uh, one uh, scale. And then, uh, and each country uh, was rated and got uh, her points on strengths, how resilient is the country in terms of economic, gender equality, and so on. And what we did is correlate it with violence, with types of violence. So we have here the economic strengths, the socio-demographic strengths, the uh, women's status is the equal gender equality scale, religion diversity, ethnic diversity, and globalization. And as you can see, the first three, economic, sociodemographic, and gender, are um, um, negatively co correlated with the different type of uh, violent crimes. You can see here terror, you can see here uh, uh, murder, you can see accessibility to, to weapon, uh, and you can see that the, <coughs> the, the more resilient the country is in terms of economic, socio-demographic, and equality, gender equality, the less violent crime uh, there is in the country. So even if we put aside all the um, political conflict, uh, and we uh, focus only on the social characteristics of the, uh, the countries, 
we can see how this uh, can explain uh, violence. Next, uh, well, what we also saw, uh, and brings me to focus on Israel, Iran. I'm, I'm okay. Um, what we what, what we also saw is that religion diversity and ethnic diversity are not significantly correlated with the uh, um, the violence uh, uh, measures, but the direction was according to logic. The more diversity, the more crime. Okay, so we thought that maybe not diversity is the issue. Uh, but to go, we, we have to go into different type of minority groups and to uh, uh, take the same, the same uh, um, categories of strengths and to check them separately for majority groups and minority groups. And I will take the Israeli uh, case as an example. Okay, so I'm moving forward to nationality and resilience in Israel. And just uh, uh, for those who don't know, uh, Israel, uh, Israel, Israel population is uh, today uh, uh, consists of uh, nine and a half million uh, uh, residents, of which uh, seventy-four percent are Jewish population, and twenty-one percent is Arab population. Um, there are five more that are not Jewish and not Arab. There can be uh, Christians, uh, not uh, in Israel you have Arab Christians and non-Arab Christians and other religions. But uh, if we take the 21%, they are also divided into sub-minority groups, which uh, in, uh, you heard today about the, the Druze minority, uh, but we can say, uh, I can tell you that uh, most of the uh, Arab minority in Israel is comprised of Muslims, uh, and those are 7.5% uh, of the uh, population in Israel, and Christians are 9%. These are the numbers. Okay? <coughs> okay. Uh, what... What did, I, what did we do in order to, to, to study the case in Israel? The same that we did on, uh, uh, on the uh, Middle East uh, level, but uh, now, instead of focusing on countries in the Middle East, we focused on uh, 255 local authorities in Israel. So we are focusing on cities. I, I can say from uh, ahead that it was only cities that are above 2,000 uh, citizens, uh, basically because of the availability of data, no, no, nothing else. Um, 2,000, Alpine, 2,000 citizens. Um, so you, you can see here only local authorities that are above 2,000 uh, citizens. Uh, it's, it's according to the uh, classification of the Bureau of Statistics in Israel. We have 152 Jewish authorities, we have 25 Arab authorities, and we have 18 mixed authorities, which are uh, Jewish and Arab together. And I will also say that out of the 18, eight are mixed cities like Akko, and 10 are regional uh, authorities. So they have a lot of uh, small villages that uh, are under one regional authority. And uh, since they, they are um, managed through this authority, it's mixed. But I will also say that even in Akko, uh, which is a, a mixed uh, city, there are neighborhood for Jewish people and neighborhood for Arab people. So when we are talking about mixed, it's, it's mixing. Okay, so these are the study population as, and, and uh, we use the Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics data to measure education, population, immigration, income, and all other uh, measures. And we use police record data to measure the rates of crime according to different type of crimes. 
These are the numbers. Uh, if, you, if we look at the crime rates according to nationality, so I took uh, juveniles aged between 12 and 18, 55% uh, uh, are, Jew, uh, uh, are Jewish juveniles and 39% uh, are Arab juveniles. Remember the, the ratio of, uh, I will show, 74, it was, sorry, 74 and 21. So in crime, it doesn't uh, continue this uh, uh, pattern. Uh, Arab, uh, uh, the Arab population, the Arab population is over um, uh, represented in, in uh, the crime rates, and the Jewish uh, and the Jewish population is under uh, represented. If you want it in uh, in uh, rates, then um, these are the rates: six uh, six uh, six adolescent per one thousand Israeli person in the Jewish. Uh, uh, um, population and 10 in the Arab population. And if you want to see the numbers uh, with adults, it's the same, okay? And these are uh, the number. You can see that it's uh, three times, the rate is of Arab are three times than uh, Israeli. And, and we ask why, okay? I will show you, uh, I will show you another uh, uh, <coughs> graph. And this graph show crime rates, again, we see only uh, uh, the old crime rates together, but you see it with the, the, the um, uh, control of the uh, type of cities, and you can see that most of the problem is in the mixed er uh, areas, where Jewish and uh, Arab uh, live uh, one side the other. So, uh, do you see it in orange? The orange is the mixed cities and you see that violent offenses are very high here. Uh, well, there is a mistake here with property offenses and uh, drug offenses. And uh, national security offenses it, 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 uh, in Israel is it's a very sensitive uh, um, offense. But uh, um, since Israel is defined as a, a Jewish state, uh, in, in most of the cases, Arab are doing the uh, national security offenses. You, you see less uh, cases of uh, Jewish people that uh, does that. So this is why you see here that it's uh, higher. So we know that living together doesn't, probably doesn't do something good, but we want really to, to take out from the equation the, the, the aspect of conflict and to focus on as I said before, uh, social, uh, education, and all other factors. And it, this is what we do. We try to examine how can resilience reduce crime. So to, we want to take, we want to understand it and then develop a, maybe policy a, a application from that. So we built again a scales for each a subject. We built again scales of, uh, of, uh, for each subject, and I will run. You can see here um, the, the subscales that com comprise this, the, the full scale. And this is demography, so you can, and, and these are the types of uh, crimes. And you can see that uh, the, younger the, the younger the population, uh, the more uh, violent uh, offenses, um, uh, the more property offenses and total uh, crime rates are uh, rising up. You can see also that uh, uh, migration uh, reduces uh, um, uh, property offenses, drug offenses, and national security offenses. I'm, 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 I will. I will uh, um, summarize, uh, summarize it all. Um, we checked level of education of, of the city, in the city and the local education system, how many schools, uh, kindergarten and, and all. We saw that level of education, uh, of uh, the scale of level of education, uh, uh, the, the scale of level of education uh, shows that uh, 
the more educated the population, the less crime there is, violent property, drug, and all. We saw that uh, the more, the, uh, the bigger the uh, education system, the more uh, property and total crime there is. Okay, the big, uh, and we, we know to tell that bigger systems are uh, systems that children get lost in them. So maybe it, it's, it will explain it. Income, we took uh, three me measures, uh, uh, allowance dependence, the, the people that depend on, on uh, uh, the state uh, uh, government allowances, income level in the locality, and Gini index, okay? <coughs> you can see here that the more um, allowance dependent there is in the city, the more crime there is. It's uh, indicates of poor cities in terms of economic uh, state. You can see that uh, the more, uh, the higher the income level in the locality, uh, the more, uh, the less violent and drugs, but more property offenses and we know that where there is a lot of money, there is what to steal, so we are not surprised. And we see that uh, the more um, egalitarian, the more, the more egalitarian the, the city is, the more crime there will be. Uh, and this goes with uh, uh, the, so, the low socioeconomic uh, um, cities. So cities that have low socioeconomic status are cities that are more egalitarian. And the big cities, like you take Tel Aviv, are, uh, are much less, uh, there are less equality there, and then there will be higher crime. Okay, so the more egalitarian means, the more egalitarian means more crime, because we are talking about uh, uh, lower socioeconomic uh, groups. And, um, we, we went over uh, the authority budgets, I'm going to cut it, and um, yes, I, I don't need more than that. Uh, uh, local authority areas, how the city uh, utilize authorities for education, for social uh, welfare and all. We did all that, and then we took all these scales into a predictive model that tried to predict or to explain the uh, violence separately in our society and in Jewish society. And what we saw um, is, first the model explains 55% of the explained, vir explained virus, which is very high. And the outcome is that the less compact the city is, the smaller the education system, the more egalitarian, settlement, the more allowance recipient in the city, and the more land in the locality that is utilized for education and welfare, the more crime, violent crime there is in the city. So I can explain why the less compact, because large city, a lot of individuality. I can, uh, uh, I can explain the smaller education system because it's uh, less rich, it's more, uh, uh, yeah, okay. We explain the egalitarian, we know about allowance to recipients, but we don't know to explain why the more the land in the locality is utilized for education and welfare, the more uh, violent crime will be. This is uh, in the Arab society. When we go to the Jewish society, the, the Jewish cities, then we saw, again, a very good model, 61% of the explained variants. We saw that the lower the locality is ranked in the socioeconomic index, we know, we know to explain that. The more peripheral the locality, we also know to explain that. The older the locality in terms of population, well, the, the, uh, so there are uh, less people on the force walk, uh, more uh, older people in the city. 
the smaller the education system, still the same as the Arab cities. The more egalitarian se uh, settlement, you see that it's the same. The more allowance recipients, we saw that. And the fewer areas in the locality that are utilized for education and welfare, again, so we have similarities between Jewish and Arab cities, but we also have some differences. And I will just conclude that we have, uh, we still have to figure some of the numbers, maybe to make them more accurate. But uh, we know that there is, we know to say now that there is a, a need to change the professional focus from security and enforcement uh, aspects to social aspects, because we hear a lot about the rising uh, violence in the Arab uh, uh, society in Israel, and all the discussion goes to why the police doesn't do anything. But the police do does not create the crime. She enforced the crime. And even, even if the enforcement is not uh, at its best, it does not create it. So we, we think that it should be addressed to a social aspect. Uh, we know to say today that uh, this, the Israel society need to create tailor-made in intervention program suited to the nationality and locality level. So if you, if you took a look at, at my data, you could uh, get the rate of each country, uh, of each city, uh, on, each of the, on, on each of the factors that we examine. And you can see where, where there are its weaknesses and where are their strengths. And maybe each city needs to be handled according to its weaknesses. And uh, focus on evidence-based program, which is always true. Um, I say, I, I, with the limitation, I talked about the black number numbers of crime. Uh, I would say that Israeli Central Bureau of Statistics and the police classification are different, so we had to do a lot of uh, matching, and maybe some of it, uh, some of it uh, affected the, the, the outcome. And we didn't have uh, data on small uh, villages, which are uh, um, surely need to be take a look. Thank you.